People are calling for change. That's Philadelphia Eagles. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Nick Sirianni got popcorn thrown at him whenever they lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and he got eliminated by Baker Mayfield, thrown for over 300 in three touchdowns. Excited to see how he plays against the Detroit Lions. Got some stuff on that coming up later with him and CJ GJ Ooh. already kind of verbally jousting. But Fletcher Cox, leader of the Philadelphia Eagles team, has been on the Philadelphia Eagles seemingly since I was a little boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like I've been watching him play for the Philadelphia Eagles for the last 30 years. Probably a voice of the locker room in many ways. Here's him talking about Sirianni's future with the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, gotten any wind on what's going to happen with Nick, and, and are you, you have confidence in if you, if you do come back, that um, confidence in him if he's also the head coach. Like any news about what about Nick? Nick, I mean, there's obviously some speculation about whether he may be fired or not. <laughs> um, huh? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> no, man, he head football coach of this team, man. Come on, man. We ain't. We ain't they ain't even. No discussion about okay, that. Yeah, okay, you don't think it's going to happen? Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't got nothing to say about that, man. You're a clown, bro. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Tomlin walking off. Yep. Todd yeah. Bowles going, you know we're inside playing a dome. And then we got you a clown, bro. Okay, right to somebody. Get out of my face. Yeah. They're less than a foot away from each uh -huh. other. So I respect all of it. But I do appreciate that Nick Sirianni has seemingly not lost the locker room. Although everybody outside has thought that maybe he has lost the locker room because he has antics and he acts differently than most head coaches. He's not scared to talk shit walking out of a tunnel. So I think it's easy to say all the fun stuff is over. The team lost him. Fletcher Cox, who's a voice of the locker room, is like, the consideration of that out of your mouth is complete clown. Now the reports are that the Philadelphia Eagles are searching for coordinators and maybe the next coach. So there is going to be change, obviously, just like within the Pittsburgh Steelers organization. But Sirianni's back, and it sounds like the players appreciate that, AJ. Yeah, Fletcher Cox, I mean, the this is a pretty good uh, defense of your coach, wouldn't you say? Like we were breaking it down with JJ, trying to read between the lines when they would ask players, "Oh, do you want? Do you think your coach should be here? What do you think?" Like we always try to read between the lines. I think it's, he's pretty clear. He's pretty blunt here. Like you're, you're an idiot for even asking this question. So when your leader on the defense, a leader on the team, like you said, that seems like he's been playing there for 25 years, making plays. When he does this, yeah, you would think, okay, this locker room seems to be okay with him. Coach Sirianni, obviously mm -hmm. watching that back has to make you a little emotional and a little happy, uh, even though the season didn't end anywhere near how you wanted it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Fletcher's a dog. He's always been a dog. Um, that reporter, come find me. I'd like to beat that guy's ass. I know exactly what he's trying to do, stir something up in the media, get things going. Hey, yeah, maybe Fletcher slips a little bit and says something, and then this guy's writing you know, the next day, hey, Fletcher Cox says he wants – Sirianni's dumbass to get fired. You know, I, I know the games that these guys are playing, people throwing popcorn at me, saying I'm a big, dumb dipshit. I'm not, okay? I've been to the playoffs three years in a row. Oh, sorry, you know, we go to the Super Bowl last year and damn near win it, but apparently that's not good enough for these fans in Philly. I love Philly, okay? I just, let's get that out there. But, I mean, you want to talk about ingrates, you're going to see, you know, Philadelphia fans in the dictionary next to that. It's as simple as that. Chuck, whenever Coach Sirianni, obviously we just heard it from him live uh -huh. there at a press conference, that feels good. Just like when Jerry comes out and speaks about Mike McCarthy or anybody else speaks about somebody, your players, the ones that matter the most, the people that you are trying to motivate and inspire and get the best out of, whenever they're speaking up for you and actually getting disrespected by the questions that are seemingly disrespecting you, Sirianni, the paisano, has got to be flying high over there. That's huge. That's everything. It's one thing for <clears throat> an owner or a GM. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, but geez, when you're choked up. He's choked yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. So choked up about it. That, that's what I'm thinking Sirianni got as yeah, well. But can you Fever. imagine, I mean, after taking all the flack, I mean, two months of just, I mean, shit. Bad. Right? Ten and one, and then we all know what happened. But, yeah, to hear that out of, you know, your stud, one of your captains, one of your leaders in your locker room, he ain't going to just say that if everybody's not on board. So, and, and you're exactly right, Ty. I mean, three sta straight years to the coach. to the playoffs. Coach, you're coach, right. coach sorry, yeah, coach. Yeah, coach. Three straight Tyson years. Yeah, right, the playoffs, a Super Bowl. Should have won that thing. Could have won that thing. Three point loss to the Chiefs. I mean, come well, on, it's man. It's, it's like days, ludicrous, though. but it's like we got to have something to talk about, right? So why not just throw him into the fire too and go after him? Yeah. Well. I'll, it... We are a part of the problem. Yeah, I We agree. understand that we are a part of the problem. The modern sports world is a part of the problem, but we need more sports coverage in the world as opposed to anything else. So we're not going to slow it down, although yeah. I'm assuming all these head coaches would wish they'd be not the target yeah. of the convo.